Hello, welcome back to uh, Year 2 at Battenberg Hospital. Um, Battenberg, run by Fruitcake, so it's in the video description. Um, then again, one of the things I discovered when I started making videos, I spent a bit more time on YouTube, is just how few people actually read video descriptions. I found rather unusual, because it's the first thing I do when I watch a video. Actually, I usually, as the video is playing, I usually scroll down and read the video description just to see if I'm uh, picking up any, so I'm missing anything, or, you know, just to, just to help me get an idea of what the video is on about. Um, thank you. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I want, because that requires a pharmacy. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's a little little run there about video descriptions. Read them, damn it. They sometimes help you do it. Sometimes the question that you're asking in the comments is answered in the video description. That irritates me highly. Anyway, uh, yeah, when you joined me last, I, um, not doing too bad, really, apart from staff ones. Oh, it's only a handyman. Uh, the instance that Bert's used petrochemicals in Borium. Um, don't be with bloody hair. I imagine, yeah, um... Used petrochemicals would do that. I could handle the emergency. I have um, an inflator with strength 12, so it won't even be that much of a challenge. I'll just walk from uh, the helipad over there. There we go. Oh, I need to hire a new handyman since the other one left. Probably due to overwork, vomiting patients, and all that. Hey, uh, hmm. Fine. Who else isn't happy? So I don't have to pay them quite so much. Fine, good, yes. Um, what, what are you waiting for? Waiting for the GP's office. Okay. How's training going? Uh, this is the first time I've picked this game up in, uh, well, since the last video came out. The intention is to get this finished and sorted out of the way. Then I can start on uh, new Let's Plays that I've actually been requested to do. I like doing requested Let's Plays because it guarantees at least, say, two people are going to watch it. One, me, and two, the person that requested it. Um, looks like there's room, room for another, another doctor in the training room. Uh, yeah, good, yes. Uh, oh, discoveries. Heaps of piles. Another pharmacy one. Boldness. Oh, well that's not too bad. Do I have a boldness? I do have a boldness clinic. I just need somebody in there. And, uh... Unexpected swelling. Cause? Something, anything unexpected. Symptom swelling. Well, terse to the point. They're not going to start vomiting, are they? Oh, look at that. 1,700 at a time. I better start hiring these people just to straight off the market. Oh, consulting. Uh, Jellyitis. I can't cure them, so I'm going to send them home. I would send them to the research department, but I can't risk the reputation hit. But with being the last uh, level, the standards are pretty high. I can't go below 450. I killed five people. You're supposed to make them better. Than them. Yes, I know. It's not me who's doing it, it's that nurse. <laughs> a game where all the nurses are women, all the receptionists are women, all the doctors and handymen are men. Good grief. It's <laughs> about uh, preset gender roles. I'm rather glad that social justice warriors haven't sort of leapt on games like these. A lot of my games are just terrible, like the Total War franchise. Women don't feature in them, apart from like wives that you don't, you can't control and just marry the characters. Uh, and princesses and medieval to total war that you can marry off to a man. Um, oh, apart from the Scythians, the Scythians in Rome Total War, the first one, there might be in the second one, I don't know, I haven't checked. Uh, they have um, headhunters, or no, it's something maidens, uh, headhunting maidens, I think. So, um, uh, like um, missile archers that throw heads, or something like that. But well, they're, they're women, and they feature in the Rome Total War. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, gender roles. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't think I'll go any further with that. Just watch him lie down. Uh, I had experience with how many people actually, uh, actually in a, um, a friendship football remark, the soup hospital. Um, 
But the game was too hard, but at the end of the, end of the day, the boy's done good. I've got to stop going to the minimum speed because this is slowing the game down somewhat. Yeah, I found out how many people are actually in operating theatres when the operation goes on. I mean, I was in for a one of the local anaesthetic. Uh, it wasn't a particularly um, complex procedure compared to some that I've had. But in that one, there was a person actually doing the operation, um, a trainee who was learning the ropes, somebody, an anaesthetist, um, uh, somebody to watch the monitor, and about three other people who I didn't know quite what they were doing. So that's about, yeah, they were doing something useful, I'm sure of that. I just wasn't sure what it was. So yeah, there's about five or four, what was it, eight people. And that's for the basic operation. I can't imagine some of the more complex ones. But you have to have at least about three anaesthetists, I think. There's usually a room full before you go in. Um, and then you've got all the other people around. There's usually, I wouldn't be surprised about a dozen people or more than, sometimes more than the more complex um, operations. The idea that just two people there doing all the work. Uh, somewhat unrealistic. However, this is also a computer game, so it's allowed to be unrealistic with symptoms like bloaty head. Um, oh, what do you want? Fine, I can afford it. Uh, what have we got here? Um, what haven't to build? Yeah, I'm loaded. Because not only was it got uh, was it ten thousand for the actual performing mission, one thousand seven hundred for each bloaty person. Um, Oh, I've taken that loading, haven't I? Yeah, I'll pay that off because I don't really need it at the moment. Uh, they're a bit expensive, aren't they? Yeah, I won't bother at the moment. I'll just wait and see what happens. Oh, so I do like this version of the open open source version of Theme Hospital that isn't available in the uh, original of zooming out. Well, look at that's pretty cool, isn't it? You get to see it all go on. Right front of you guys. The only trouble is that I have difficulty bringing it back to the original level which it was at. That's, that's about it, isn't it? Killed seven people. You've got just stay away from that um, that pharmacy. It's awful. Now I did have a, I was thinking about this, you know, in real life the other day. Because <laughs> computer games do that, do they? They sort of do that, don't they? They just sort of launch into your, into your subconscious. Usually when you're trying to sleep. Civilization's awful for that. You sort of think about uh, how you move units, how you're going to conduct your next war, and how are you going to deal with Tokugawa and um, this thing. Um, I can't kill them, send home. Somebody's become a consultant. Good. Right, that's just what I wanted. Yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, I was thinking about what I was going to I was going to have a, a row of operating theatres, perhaps about. I don't know, three or four? Depending on how big this section is here. And it, uh, that could deal with any sort of rush of patients that need surgery. Um, the ward there is useful for that. I might want to move all the diagnosis rooms over here. Because I've got the reception over here now. But I don't know what to do with this room. Apart from, yeah, that was it. Leave it as a clinic. All the clinics go there so that if an emergency comes in, they land over here. Oh, what do you want? Fine. Um, oh yeah, it's March. Time to turn the heating off. <laughs> it's um, it's it takes a really good time. We should have turned it off a long time ago. Some oh, some of these the pharmacy. The last three people have gone to that pharmacy and died. I thought it was supposed to be seventy-five percent success rate, not a seventy-five percent failure rate. Uncommon cold. Ah, slack tongue. Good, I like slack tongue. Can't cure them, send them home. Largely because they look comical and then over discussion of soap operas, apparently. Nothing much is happening at the moment. Get, get over there and look lively. Just standing around, costing me money. Now, what do I want to do? I might move 
This car you move around, this is probably going to be the first time I move a load of objects around. Over there like that. Lots of windows in so people can watch them run. Run, Fazzy, run! Uh, what else is strictly diagnosis? Yeah, you just sat down, you can stand back up again. Off you go. Hold it up. Shift it. Uh, he's probably unhappy because he's cold. The, the, the fellow over there that's just threatening to resign. Just so too busy to do anything about it. <laughs> it was it was a consultant's lady too. Dollars a month, so I think he has reason to be marginally unhappy. Uh, good, yes, right. What other treatment rooms can I put over here? Ah, the x ray. That might be a bit big. Right, so you can shift it. Now, will that slot in there? Yes, but it looks pretty ugly. Right, so I've got, I've got something. I've got something. I've got a hospital, I know that much. Put a bin in the middle of the room. No, but what can I do there? Move the psychiatry. I'll move the pharmacy somewhere else. And I might move the psychiatry and the general diagnosis and swap them round. God, this is complicated. How far am I through? I'm on, I'm on to April. I'm four months in already. Um, and I'm finding stuff to do. That's, that's largely what I'm doing. I'm, fill, I'm filling up air time. Uh, right. Uh, move it over there temporarily. Uh, right, okay, then we can move that radiator out of the way. And uh, probably the benches as well. And now we can move that. Well, no, because that, that's in the way now. How about let's move that over here, or somewhere. I'll move the reception somewhere else. Move the reception over there. Crack she was quick. Move the general diagnosis over here. I can't. I can't be bothered to do that again, I'll just, I'll just rebuild it. Bench in the way. How much man hours must have wasted with me doing this this rubbish? Um, general diagnosis. I'll rebuild it over here. Um, let's build all these again. I buy all these again. Sorry, what am I talking about? Right, where am I on? May. Okay, I'm guessing. I'm guessing through. I suppose time would go quicker if it's at the time go faster, but then all these people start complaining. And um, the doctor needs two dollars a year, a month even. That's refreshing. But don't don't do that. I've got <laughs> awkward so and so. I was going to build something there, and now I have to fetch the handyman to clean it up. You over there. Um, Now what was I going to do? I was going to move... Oh, is it move psychiatry? What am I doing? Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. No wonder it's not working. Right. Move the psychiatry over here. Because it's as much a cure thing as it is diagnosis. We'll put everything there like that. 
Now what I'm going to put over there, probably the next diagnosis room that comes along. Hmm. An ultra scan? Now how could I have an ultra scan without a, a basic scanner? I don't know, that's for somebody else to explain. If I put that like that, I can have a blood machine next door when I finally invent it. Uh, oh, we discovered sweaty palms. I like sweaty. Well, I don't like sweaty palms, but I like, I like the condition because it's fairly simple to cure, but not as lucrative as King Complexer. Uh, you can see we've discovered a new condition. It is pregnant. Cause power cuts in urban areas. <laughs> um, yes, well, quite. I send them home. I'd probably be able to diagnose them with fairly scanner room, but I haven't, so I can't. Uh, move, the, move these benches over here. And have they got a radiator nearby? I'll put a radiator over here. And a radiator there. I'll move reception once again to over there. And perhaps get a few more benches and another radiator to go across there. Like that. Right, now we, now, now we wait. Uh, you're not very happy. Why not? I can see why you're not very happy. Oh, have they all been trained up? Excellent. I've got an abundance of staff now. I think I have all the staff I actually need. I just need the research department to get on with it. In fact, I'm going to see if we can buy any more equipment for them. Because I'm flushed with cash. Yes, I'll take two atom analyzers. I'll take one atom analyzer. <laughs> okay, so you're just a consultant. You're a consultant researcher. You're just a consultant, consultant researcher. Now I believe there's a consultant researcher somewhere out here in the wild. Yeah, him. One, two, three, four. There's four desks, so that means, and four desks and four filing cabinets means I can hire four researchers. So the number of researchers you can have is based upon the number of desks and filing cabinets that you can have. Um, there's one. I found a, a, a wild consultant researcher grazing in uh, Portal 2, I believe it is. It is, it's, it's plot number 2. That's plot number 8. Right, so I've bought them a shiny new... Um... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, error, error has occurred. Do I want to continue? Yeah, I want to. It usually means something's blown up. Um... Oh, it's him. He's the problem. Can you just like work around him? No, I don't think you can. Oh well, that's a bit rubbish. I guess I'm going to have to build a new general diagnosis. Strange that, I wonder why it broke. And if I saved and reloaded, would it fix itself? So you can go there. You can go there, and we're going to close this thing, general diagnosis. Now is that, that's, he's not, that's not working. I'm sure he's not supposed to do that. Similar. No, you work. He's, he's just broken, I think. Since I've got so many staff, I think I might make them take the tick life a little easier. Um, by putting the centre staff room 
percentage down to 50%. I'll also tell everybody that can't be cured, above 80% is sent home automatically. Uh, I've had them stop that diagnosis um, procedure at 100%. Because the real money is in treating people, not just diagnosing people forever and ever. But why aren't you sleeping vomit? That's better. Go home, and you can go home. And that's why I simply vomit about, because I didn't answer the query. Uh, I can't cure them, so they've got to go home as well. But we're working on it with Research DNA Fixer. With our brand new atom analyzer. Uh, how close am I to win this level? I am nowhere near. This is going to take quite a few videos. They're best settle in for the long haul. Like 10% of the way through as far as um, that's concerned. Oh, you probably need some seats. Thank you. Is there really nothing can do with that? No. That's stuck. <laughs> yes, I discovered this scanner at last. Uh, and we'll buy this new. What building am I. Is it this one? It is, yes. Buy that building there. Uh, put a scanner. Oh, that's quite expensive actually. I might not bother. If I buy a new one of those, is it improved? Yes, it's strength 11. So one of the advantages of having strong machines is that, you know, earthquakes just pass you by. Never realised quite how important, um, what research is it? Yeah, improvements are. Uh, what do you want? You want a these? Why not? I'm flushed with cash. And success! I'm flushed with success as well. You can have a race. Somebody's died. Billy Savile! Uh, as OBE has expressed a wish to go. Yeah, why not? So repeat the. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. I keep an eye on him now. <laughs> uh, that's disappointing. Have they re improved the Ultra Scanner again? Yes, they have. I've killed 11 patients. I might have closed the pharmacy because this is rubbish. I can't cure the disease. But I have improved the invisibility drug, so that's, that's something. Uh, just a back of, uh, relaxing now. I'm trying to think of something to say that isn't hospital related. Um, oh yeah, I might talk about the to-do list. Um, yeah, once I finish this, I'm going to play European as well as you <laughs> Europe Universalis 4, if you can say it, if you, if you, if you promise not to make me say it too many times. Europe Universalis 4, Europe Universalis <laughs> I can't say it, say it four times fast, I just can't. Can't cure serious radiation, that's, that's a damn shame. Um, watch out, Billy Savile's arrived at the hospital. <laughs> so, yeah, we can watch out for that. There he is. Um, yeah, to-do list. Um, yeah, Europa, Europa Universalis 4, I'm going to play as either England, France, Spain, or Portugal, because the request is to do a colonial power, a Western colonial power, and I don't mind that at all, because that's one of, the, one of the more fun nations to play. It's one of the ones that the game was initially designed to be played as. Europa Universalis 1 only had eight uh, countries you could play at, and they were players, and they were ones like that, I think it was also Austria, Probably something like Brandenburg or one that you can form into Germany. Oh no, one of them was the Ottoman Empire. That was that was one that was initially meant to be played. And then with the European Universalis 2 you can suddenly play as everyone. But they haven't managed to make every country as interesting as the other ones. So the interesting ones to play as are like yeah, Spain, Portugal, France, Britain, or England, um, yeah, the Ottoman Empire. You're not very happy. Maybe some money will make you a bit happier. There we go. Um, 
I think China's quite interesting to play now that they've brought all these sort of dynamic dynamics in. Uh, also, I'm going to play Zeus and Poseidon, the city building games. It's been requested by. Oh, his name escapes me now. I'll probably edit it in. I'll edit it in once I've got. Blood Shiva, I think his name is. Um, play Zeus and Poseidon. They're the kind of city building games like. Um, but Caesar, Caesar 3, 1, 2 and 3, Pharaoh, Cleopatra, uh, Emperor, right in the Middle Kingdom. I also want to play Pharaoh as well, since I managed, managed to get both of them working now. I, I can't use Fraps to do it, so I have to use something, some software whose name escapes me. Uh, I've got 12 people now. No, that's not, that's not what's supposed to be happening at all. Uh, what else was there? Um, oh, Rise of Legends! I have a request to play that as well. Uh, Blood Shiva, I think his name is. Or something like that. I apologise profusely. Um, name escapes me at this moment. Uh, yeah, it's like Rise of Nations. It's a sequel to it. It's not as good as Rise of Nations, I don't think. But that's because I love Rise of Nations. I'm not going to buy the extended edition because I've got the original. So. The extended edition doesn't look that good. What they're going to do improve some graphics, make the water look better. That's it, really. It's not really worth £15 or however much they were charging. 20 quid, I think it was. Somebody improved the ultra scanner again. They have, but it's just cheaper, so that was all a wasted adventure. Yeah, as I say, if you have any more requests, just comment them on any video somewhere. I get a notification wherever you comment. Um, and if I've got it, and if I like it, and can bear to play it for hours and end, uh, yeah, it's been a crisis. It's been a crisis at Big Dave's funeral parlour, an off license. <laughs> Fake Blood's another good one as well because it, it, it's got a good price, and also there's a 100% uh, chance of success. Like all psychiatry, I imagine. Why are you just standing around? Get stuck, stop. There, yeah. I want you to go into parcel 12. Parcel 2. You can go into parcel 12. Parcel 8. And you can go into parcel. Oh. Um, you can go into parcel 12, wherever that is. I think it's that new one I've just bought. Wait, where's parcel. Oh, wait. You're not very happy. Fine. Can't cure heriitis, that's, uh, that's a shame. Because I keep on saying that, it's always like a, it's like an automatic response. Oh, that's a shame, you've got serious radiation. SARS, there's nothing we could do. You're not very happy either. Um, so you're being paid less than the other person, so that's probably understandable. 109 patients cured! We're guessing somewhere. I've got a lot of money, and I don't know quite what to spend it on. I might get a second operating theatre. Because, you know, why not splash the cash? I think we've got enough surgeons for us as well. So, that's there, um, that's there, and that there, and there, and there. Good, right, sorted. Um, not not the great greatest use of uh, land. Oh, I've discovered jellyitis. Can't cure it. Never mind. The graphics don't work either, they've not put the graphics in yet for Jelly Artists, so they just look like regular people. Same with um, Serious Radiation. In the original game, they were kind of glowing green. Quite funny for them, I suppose. But not for, well, for me, not so much for them. How much they charge? $1,629! Woo! We're in the money! We're in our... Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, can't afford Christmas. <laughs> for his family, never mind. And they also get £5,000 on top of that. I've researched the blood machine. Excellent. I've researched diagnosis equipment to 100%. So that was a waste of time buying that piece of land then, wasn't it? I'll buy a blood machine because it's expensive. Not many people use it. That's the thing. You buy it solely to impress the ministry. And to impress Billy Savile over there. Um, yeah, he's, he's still there. I'm going to keep you around until you've researched everything. Then I'm going to sack everybody. 
Oh, Park left is, is coming to Kia. Oh, the jelly molder. After I've sent away all those people with jelly ices, I can tell them to come back now. Wait, come back. I can fix you now. Jelly vat is expensive and fragile. I think, uh, yeah, I think a single earthquake can destroy it. And there we go. You can get a Christmas bonus. Working like a dog, apparently. And to be fair, it's just easier than training new people up. And here we go, that's the end of 2002, apparently, again. Um, that's not a bad cure camp, but it's also a pretty poor death camp. Um, the richest? I'm on the highest salary, 28,000. It was higher, but then the computer broke. And when I tried to reinstall it onto my new computer, I had to re restart Core 6 all over again. Because it's not Theme Hospital, this is Core 6 open source version of Theme Hospital, of course. Um, only two awards this year. Uh, lots of folks feel much better. Uh, hearty congratulations to achieving an impressive cure to death ratio. Well, thank you very much. I also get the Noel Gargler Trophy for managing a huge percentage of patients in your hospital last year. No words from the Ministry, but at least they're not, uh, they're not finding me or like hurting my reputation. So there we are, that is Battenberg. I was going to say Brandenburg there for a minute, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> and what a year it's been! I've managed to build it well. I've not actually done that much, have I? I've moved diagnosis from here to here. I've bought that, I've bought an atom analyzer, and I've bought an operating, an operating theater and a jelly bat. And that's it. The entire achievement of the year can be described in a sentence. So that's that, and I will see you next year when it's onwards and upwards, I think. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.